They bugging, bro. Why, bro? Bro. Bro. She made beans. What the f? Believe it or not, that was me a few years ago. At that time, I was getting high every day. I was sleeping around. I was drinking, partying, robbing people, lying to everyone, and just doing things I was not supposed to be doing. But one day, on December 19th of 2021, I received a knock on my door that changed everything. My brother had just recently dropped out of school and started traveling as a missionary. They needed a place to stay, so they were staying at my house. I just thought they were gonna do their thing and I was gonna do my thing. But because of their joy, their freedom, and their love for God and for people, it just interested me. It's like, how can people my age be, love God that much and be so free while serving him? I compared their lifestyle to the way that I was living and I knew the way I was living was not glorifying God at all. So the day came when they were leaving. It was 30 minutes before they pulled out the driveway. The leader of the group comes out the stairs, throws me a suitcase and says, hey, we're leaving in 30 minutes. Are you coming with us or not? So I left my family, my friends, my two cars, my job, school, everything to become a missionary. A couple days after deciding to become a missionary, I finally had a personal encounter with Christ that changed the way I viewed the world as a whole. I decided that I no longer want to live life for myself, but to live life to glorify God and to serve people in the best way that I can. So for the next three years of my life, I got the opportunity to go to 13 countries, where in each country, I got to share the gospel to whomever was willing to hear it. Host outreaches where we bless families with free food, groceries, toys, clothes, school supplies, and so much more, as well as meet new friends who I now call family. But in the midst of all that, I lost sight of the things that made me I was so focused on serving that I started to please people rather than to please God. And I was known as that person that was always there for everybody else, always there to be a helping hand to somebody else, but I wasn't that person for myself. Therefore, I'm going back to my roots. I'm gonna be showing up for myself for the first time in a long time. My goal is to realign with what God truly wants for me and to live the life of no limits that he wants me to live. So that's why I'm starting this YouTube channel. I'm finally saying yes to my true desires and to my true passions. I know a lot of you guys watching may be also struggling with just starting, just taking that first step. If you want to start that business, just do it. If you want to drop that song, just do it. If you want to ask that girl on a date, just do it. Life's too short to play a safe. For me, it was this channel. So my step of faith and obedience, God is going to honor and bless that. So that means this channel is going to be fruitful. It's going to be crazy. The content is going to be amazing. <laughs> not going to want to miss out on all the growth all the success that comes from this page is all for his glory and all because he decided to do it it's not because of my own strength but it's the lord's i don't know what this journey entails though but i'm ready to find out and if you are too subscribe like share this with somebody because god is going to cook he don't miss y'all yeah you don't you don't miss <laughs> Sounds good. Right? see y'all in the next video <laughs>